32-bit float is such a buzzword at the moment. It really has you believing that you're never going to clip your audio ever again. But you know what? Half the time, it's marketing smoke. Here's the brutal truth. Proper 32-bit float requires two analog to digital converters per channel, each running at different gain levels. The signals are combined to give real-world dynamic range of about 140 to 160 decibels. That's why it can handle whispers and explosions in the same take without breaking a sweat. The problem is this, there are units out there that use just one analog to digital converter chip and it's 24-bit and offers less dynamic range. Then they simply wrap that 24-bit file in a 32-bit float container, no extra headroom, you still have to worry about your gain staging. So how do we tell the difference? Well clearly transparency is the key, we need to be going on manufacturers websites and looking for explicitly the words dual ADC. Also keep an eye out for where it says 32-bit float but then the dynamic range specs are suspiciously low. So be sure to get what you pay for, we need more transparency from these companies. If you want to see the full breakdown where I name and shame some of the units involved, the video is linked.